Welcome back to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today, I will be reviewing the Pimax eye tracking module. I will be answering some questions like, is it worth buying? What's it like to install? And like, how are games on it? So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to do the installation part of this and it takes some time, but I will guide you through every step of the way. So, first off, make sure that you've removed the face gasket, which looks like this, and also the foam that goes on it. So you will see the lenses look like this. Next, you take your metal lens frames that go around now on the back is adhesive that you'll pull off and in the front here is where the eye tracking will attach to so if you see those little pins those will attach to the eye tracking module so I will show you how to install it onto the lenses so I grab the headset and firstly um, there's two ridges on the top and bottom of this so what you want to do is get the bottom ridge inside the foam at the bottom and then just align it in place and then you want to grab both fingers at the top and pull it until the other side goes in. And now it stays on pretty well. You just push in gently on all sides. So you guys probably didn't see that because my hands were in the way. So I'll show you again on the other side. So I grab this and I'm going to try to make sure you guys can see this. So I put it in first starting at the bottom here. I want to push in this piece down below and then once I do that I need to push a bit down the top metal part until the this part slides in so now it stays on make sure it's tight on all sides <clears throat> and that looks good so now that you have this part installed you will grab your eye tracking module which looks like this now this is very loose due to the just yeah and on the back here you will see uh, USB-C port that is not needed for the eye tracker so I will show you where that goes so on the top of the headset there is a hole at the top so you put the eye tracker on top into the hole the USB-C and then you just align the lenses now they have magnets so they will align automatically they kind of hook onto there there's one and then the other now you have to be careful because when you let go it can sometimes slip off easily so I want to make sure the magnets are in there make sure it's secured on all top bottom left right and that seems good so so once you have that in there you will see the eye trackings in but it's not quite holding yet fully so next up, 
Um, what you need to do is when you have this face gasket, you see I cut with scissors a hole up here. And this is very flexible plastic, so what you see when you bend it, the hole widens. So the purpose of this hole is when you put the gasket on like this, the this part will be um, give enough room for the two wires of the eye tracker on the top. So I'll put this on. And what you want to do when you put the gasket back in is just try to try to align the bottom part first. Then you can push the top in. This is not pre-recorded by the way I'm doing this portion live to tape. So it looks like it's on pretty well. You just check all the sides, make sure it's and there we go. So now um, the eye tracking stays on. It doesn't uh, fall loose as much, but just in case you want to make sure the top is pushed in. And there we go. So then you just put on the foam again, and then I will show you guys the rest of the steps. All right, so once you have the eye tracking installed, you will see in the top left, top right, the eye tracker is a USB port. So you're provided this cable. You just plug in um, this part up here. And then you route this part down at, underneath the headset. So Turn it around. So you grab this and you plug it into the bottom here. So I'm going to get straight to the experience with the eye tracking module. So first things first, when I installed it, and plugged it into the headset's USB port. It was pretty simple to install, but sometimes if a game has uh, blurriness, then you need to turn the USB around uh, cable. So you might have to switch different sides until you get it to, to work well. Now it runs at 30 Hertz when it's plugged into the headset itself. And first game I tried was Pavlov. Pavlov, it, the eye tracking worked. It looked where my eyes were, but there were some artifacts on the outer, like some black going on, it's kind of distracting. But when I go in like the Siberia map, for example, um, there are zones where they always, the performance always goes down to like 60 FPS approximately. So with the eye tracking enabled in some areas of the map, all you see is a tunnel vision and everything outside the, the eye tracking is black. So for Pavlov, eye tracking does not work well. The next game I tried was Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. This game also had some black artifacts going on outside of the eye tracking area, but it was way less and, and not as bad as Pavlov, so definitely playable. And then I tried uh, Half-Life Alex. Now, I went into a custom map on Half-Life Alex that is... Um, usually hits like below 60 FPS because it's not optimized well. And with the eye tracking module on aggressive mode, I got smooth 75 Hertz 
and it was enough for um like it, it worked well it didn't it didn't look distracting so for half-life alex i give a thumbs up for the eye tracking next game i tried is asgard's wrath now this game doesn't seem to run the eye tracking at all so i don't know what's wrong another game i tried was boneworks and i also tested other unity games unfortunately for unity games it seems like the whole picture is blurry or pixelated and i don't know why that is the next game is skyrim skyrim looks great performance on my uh, modded vr essentials mod pack i get a smooth 75 fps now outside or not it's outside inside buildings but outside it goes down to about 55 to 60 fps but still better than without the eye tracking now the eye tracking is not noticeable most of the time but sometimes you will notice that there's a very kind of very faint um, you can see the circles of where the eye tracking is very faintly so it's something that you have to really pay attention to to notice now so one thing that i notice in terms of the eye tracking itself is um, the thing that sticks out of the eye tracking here you feel it pressing in underneath your eyelids and that is a little bit uncomfortable but since i have the studio form creative counterweights installed on the back of the headset this makes it not not as bad uh, as it would have been definitely if you don't have the counterweights the eye tracking would press in a lot more here um, some another issue is that with the eye tracking installed the distance to of your eyes to lens changes so for me i now see light bleed on the a little bit on the sides so my face is not quite touching the sides of the foam now um some things i tried to make the eye tracking better is um i got uh, a short usb cable from amazon and to test out whether is it the cable that pimax provided or is it the pimax headsets usb port that is having the 30 hertz limit so when i plugged in the new usb cable uh short cable I noticed that um, it ran at 120 hertz, but the calibration was broken. And then when I switched uh, sides of the of the cable plugged into the headset, then it ran at 30 hertz and calibration worked. Then I tried various long cables connected from the eye tracking directly to PC and that had 120 hertz detected but again the calibration broke so it seems like this headset only works in 30 hertz mode with the eye tracking pimax needs to fix their firmware or something to get the 120 hertz to work so another thing is that you notice a little bit of reflection going on in the outer periphery so it is uh, a bit a little bit distracting occasionally and so overall based on my entire experience the the fact that the it's a bit not user friendly but also just the experience is the the to get good performance in games is a li limited selection there's half-life alex there's skyrim and there's the list of games that Pimax says also works with it. If you really like those games, then you can just get the eye tracking module for that. However, if you're expecting this eye tracking module to work with every single game out of the box, then you'll be disappointed. So overall, at least for me, I cannot recommend the eye tracking at the moment. 
unless um, we get I get it working for all games when Pimax releases a patch for the 120 hertz mode. So I will probably remove the eye tracking module since it's also more just a bit more comfortable without. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and stay tuned as I will be um, benchmarking with my 2080 Ti various games that you guys have requested. And then I will install my 3090 and do the exact same benchmarks and I'll let you guys know um, what the performance is like. I'll, I'll show you guys. So um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button so that you don't miss a single episode.